And I'm Chris. Today on From A to Vegan, we are talking about beans and other legumes. Beans and legumes are an inexpensive way to add fiber and vegetable protein to your diet. They are rich in vitamin A and iron, and they help to regulate your blood sugar. That's right, because they're high in fiber, they're great for diabetics and hypoglycemics. So what do we have here? Well, today we have a small selection. There are many other beans at your grocery store or health food store. But what we have here to start is a black bean, which is pretty popular in Central and South America. Mm -hmm. And Mexican cooking. Yeah, and yep. in Brazil, they have their popular Brazilian black bean stew. Now, black beans can be used in soups and other stews. Mm -hmm. They also take a little longer prep time than your other lighter variety of beans. So you'll probably have to soak them for about eight hours or overnight before cooking them. And if you have a pressure cooker, they'll cook in about 20 minutes. And here we have some peas. Yeah, those are yellow split peas. Those don't require any soaking. You can just throw them in your stews or curries or soups and they'll cook in about 20 minutes to half an hour. And brown beans? Brown beans, also popular in Central and South America. Rice and beans. <laughs> <laughs> they're just, they're basically used as you would use your black bean, a diff, just a different flavor, uh, a slightly softer consistency when it's cooked and they too need to be soaked overnight. And if you have a pressure cooker, they'll cook in about 20 minutes. And refried beans as well. Refried beans, yeah. Mm -hmm. Mexicans use that a lot. Now what's that? That is very popular in Asian cuisine. These are mung beans. And mung, these are the uh, split variety, kind of like the split peas. They're hulled and split in half. And they only need about two hours of prep time meaning they'll be soaked for two hours, drained, and then you can put them in the blender with a non-dairy milk or some vegetable broth and water and some spices. And you can make some vegetable pancakes with them, or I've actually blended them with tofu and made some frittatas. Mm, sounds delicious. It is, it's very yummy. And here we have some green lentils. And those come in different colors too. They do, they come in brown, red, and black. And these also don't require any soaking. And they're very gentle actually on your digestive system as are the mung beans. And they can be cooked in soups and stews. And they'll take about 20 minutes to cook. And you've also got some soybeans. I do. These are the dry kind. And they're very popular in all of your vegetarian burgers, tofu, you name it. But you can also cook them and eat them in soups, salads, mm -hmm. and stews. They also need some prep time of soaking them overnight and then either cooking them in a pressure cooker or just in a steaming them or in a slow cooker. So do these have any other special preparations that need to be done before you start cooking them? Actually, what you should do with any of these, regardless of them having to be soaked or not, is you should always pick through them and remove any foreign objects. See if there aren't any pebbles or twigs or anything that can break somebody's tooth. We hope you enjoyed this video. For more recipes and cooking videos, please visit from a to vegan.com.